If you're anything like me and you're saying the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is going to be your game for getting into competitive Pokemon, but sometimes you get a little stuck or you don't really know where to start, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Mike. I play with one Pokemon on the field. Sometimes I play with two. And today I'm going to be going over some helpful resources that you can use in Scarlet and Violet. Now, a lot of these resources have been around for a long time, but oftentimes when people are starting a new game or if you're getting into Pokemon in general, you don't really know that a lot of these resources exist. I know for me, when I was first getting into competitive, I didn't know that half of these things were out there or that I should even be thinking about looking towards some of these. I could have really used some of these when I was first starting out. So that's why I kind of wanted to make this video is to show people just what's out there and what you might want to keep in the back of your head while you're trying to create your first awesome competitive team. Now I'm going to be going in order of most novice to most advanced, just so that the people who are getting into Pokemon for the first time have something to latch on to as well as the people who, you know, need a little bit less guidance and more uh, team building expertise, uh, what those people can, can kind of sink their teeth into. Uh, so starting right at the kind of lowest hanging fruit, we're going to go with Bulbapedia. All right, Bulbapedia is a great website that shows you just everything you need to know about the Pokemon, all right? So I can go onto Bulbapedia and I can search up any uh, Pokemon that, that comes to mind, right? I can go and look up Reloom. Uh, and pull up Breloom's page where it'll show me all of the information that I need to know about it. Stuff from the, the Pokedex, stuff from the uh, anime, stuff from the TCG. But most importantly for me as a, as a competitive Pokemon player is this screen right over here, just the base stats, showing me all of what I need to focus on with this Pokemon. So for Breloom specifically, uh, Breloom has a high uh, attack base stat and a kind of decent speed stat. So I'm gonna be focusing a lot on the physical attacks that Breloom has. Uh, am I going to be putting on a Giga Drain because that's a special attack? No, not so much. Uh, I'm going to have uh, at least a, a little bit of a frame of mind. It also shows you the type effectiveness that you can, uh, you know, cross reference while you're actually in game. Uh, is this Pokemon going to be doing a lot of damage to me? Am I resistant to a lot of the moves that this Pokemon might have? Those are the questions that I'm asking myself, as well as showing you all of the moves so that you can kind of plan out uh, kind of your, your best course of action, right? Same thing with TMs and these get updated as the new games come out. So, uh, as we don't have generation nine out yet, but we will incredibly soon, um, that will be updated on, on Bulbapedia. I almost guarantee that. <laughs> So that's that's that. And, you know, you can go and see all the breeding information and, and all of that. Uh, Bulbapedia is a great resource for anyone trying to uh, learn a little bit about the Pokemon that they're trying to use. Now, there's something to be said about staying in the know when it comes to competitive Pokemon. If you're going to be diving really hard into competitive, you're going to want to stay ahead of the news. You're going to want to know what's coming up, what you need to look out for, what happened, uh, you know, in-game events, in-person events, all of that good stuff. Uh, that is all stuff that Cerebi.net is, is great at showing you. Uh, not only does it show all of the games that is Pokemon, right? It shows you Pokemon Masters EX if you're into that, uh, Pokemon Go if you're into that, Pokemon Unite. Uh, but it also shows you upcoming events inside the game. If you're going to be playing uh, Scarlet and Violet, you're going to want to spend some time on Cerebi.net uh, because that'll be showing you all uh, things regarding to series and, and rules around those series, uh, any kind of important uh, tidbits of information that you would need to know going into the game. All right. It's also a great place to go and see some of the new trailers, right? If you're not necessarily subscribed to any of the YouTube channels, or maybe you just don't spend a lot of time on YouTube, uh, you can head on over to Cerebi.net and see any of the new uh, videos that have dropped, any of the new information that's dropped and all of that good stuff. Now, the last one of what I was calling the novice concepts, the introductory concepts is understanding weaknesses. Now, Bulbapedia, which I showed you earlier, was great at showing the weaknesses of Pokemon individually, but what it did not do is show you the weaknesses of your team. If you're going to be putting together a team of all of your favorite Pokemon, you need to know where your weaknesses lie so that you can go and, you know, spec around that, especially with terrestrialization, which now you can go and uh, completely 
almost negate one of your team's massive weaknesses. Uh, you can do that through a weakness calculator. Now, there are a lot of those uh, kinds of weakness calculators online. We also have one on our Pokesports website, uh, pokesports.org. Uh, if you go on over there, you can go and see our weakness calculator where you can go and type in any one of the, uh, you know, existing Pokemon. Uh, once Scarlet and Violet drops, we will also have those Pokemon on that as well. Uh, but you can go and toss in, say, a couple of your favorite Pokemon. If I'm, for just sake of example, putting in Aegislash, Alakazam, Alamomola, Altaria, uh, Obama Snow, and of course you got to toss in Absol. I'm, I'm going for the A team, you know what I mean? Uh, then you can see all of your total weaknesses, total immunities, total uh, resistances, uh, not exactly in that order, but you can see where your team kind of falters, right? And as I'm scrolling down, just at a glance, I'm noticing that I have a large bug weakness, right? Three of my Pokemon are weak to bug and two of them resist it. So, I mean, I kind of counteract that a little bit by resisting it, but anyway, uh, you can kind of see at a glance just all of the types that your Pokemon are weak to and things that you need to keep in mind when you're uh, when you're creating your team and putting your, your items and your attacks together. I will say that weakness calculating is not the be all and end all of Pokemon. There's a lot more to it, especially when you get into the uh, different kinds of stats that any kind of Pokemon has. Uh, attack stats, special defense stats, uh, special attack stats, defense stats. Weird that I went in that order. Uh, speed, HP. There's those are all factors that go into creating a good Pokemon. And that is where a damage calculator will actually come in handy. Uh, so over here, again, on the Pokesports website, we have our own damage calculator. There are tons out there, um, but this one we have prided ourselves on trying to keep ahead of what's uh, going on into, in, into Scarlet and Violet uh, by way of terrestrialization we have added in the ability to terrestrialize any of your Pokemon. So if you are an Obama Snow that you want to terrestrialize, then any of your uh, electric attacks that Obama Snow has will <laughs> have uh, the extra terrestrialize boost. Uh, so on a damage calculator, you're able to put in all of the stats that you know about your Pokemon, right? You can toss in the Obama Snow and the Absol. You can put in how much uh, EVs, uh, your your Pokemon each have. And if you don't know what EVs are, I'm telling you, uh, Bulbapedia is a great resource for that. Cerebi is a great resource for that. Uh, but once you understand that, your EVs and IVs, you can pop those in to a damage calculator and you can see exactly how much damage you're actually going to be doing to a certain Pokemon. So you can run these simulations in your head. Uh, you can run these simulations on paper or on your screen. And, you know, you, you can see exactly what your your team is going to do in certain situations. Uh, often people on the high level will be using these kind of damage calculators um, just to understand what their team is and is not weak against. Uh, and some of the, the high level pros will absolutely um, let you know that as well. Now, I still have a few more to show, but I think it's a good time for me to jump in and say that these are not all of the resources that are out there by far. There are tons of great places for you to go to practice, to learn, to understand what's going on in the world of Pokemon, right? You've got uh, Pokemon Showdown, which is a great place for you to run tons of simulations before you go and play on cart. There's uh, VGC pastes where you can go and see all of the, the, uh, the pastes of VGC that's, that's going on, all the teams that people are using currently. Uh, there's Smogon is just a wonderful forum that, that can teach you so much about the game. Uh, so all these places, they're there to help you learn their help. They're there to help you understand. But meanwhile, I'm going to dive into a little bit more of an, uh, what's the word? an advanced topic, I guess I would call it, but really it's important if you want to know what people are using currently in the current meta. And that site is Picolytics. Picolytics is a great resource for you to go and see what Pokemon are currently being used and at what frequency, right? I'm over in series 12 right now, but if I go over to say series 13 Battle Stadium doubles, which was uh, Sword and Shield's most recent before series 14 uh, uh, battle format, I'm able to see that, oh my good lord, Station Crown was sitting at 91 
1.91% that everybody was using <laughs> such and crowned, right? So we've got all of that going on. We can see exactly what moves and how often people would use these moves. 99.99999% of the time people were using Iron Head uh, or Protect or Play Rough Sacred Sword. You know, and then you can see if you wanted to, that's a weird set. Also quick attack at 38%. I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. I'm getting distracted. Um, you can see the teammates that people are using with, with uh, Zacian 76% of the time right now. I know you can't see it over on that. I can move it over. Here you go. 76% uh, of the time people are using Kyogre with Zacian. Is that any surprise to me? Not so much to others, maybe. Uh, but you can see all of the uh, frequency that people are using all of these different kinds of sets. I'll move back over here. You've got your EV spreads uh, that you can uh, you can see exactly how to how to spec your Zation, which is which is really, really cool. So that's Picolytics. If you're ever stuck with a team and you're trying to figure out what to what to put on your team to just give it that little competitive edge, Picolytics is a great site to go to to see exactly what you know, Pokemon, your your favorite Pokemon or Pokemon that you're already using are running with teammates, are running with their spreads, their moves, their, their base stats. It's got all of that helpful information right there in front of you when you need it. And then the last thing that I'm going to be talking about is, of course, content creators. If you're looking to get better at the game, there are people out there right now who are making it their career to go and play this game and understand this game and teach this game to essentially you right? Uh, there are people like us who put out battle videos all, all the time. If you're looking to uh, get educated, you can go and see things like that. But also uh, people like Joe UX9, right? Joe UX9 is a, a great content creator for VGC, um, shows different kinds of sets all the ding dang time and is consistent with his performance, right? So there's, there's a tried and true, uh, you know, content creator out there who is showing you how to how to play um and then same thing with people like sable ivgc uh just a wonderful content creator he's so so entertaining in the way that he explains his his thought process uh you know right now going into some outside of the actual meta going into uh, uh the malamar cup uh likely i assume in in scarlet and violet we'll be going back to the mainline game as well uh so I, I don't know, like, I, I think it's it's really important to go and see what content creators are saying and content creators are, are putting out there uh, because they they put a ton of thought into creating interesting uh, videos and interesting ideas. Fu is another amazing person. I can't believe I didn't even talk about Fu. Hold on. I, mean, I need to show you that. I'm not even going to edit around that. But um, there we go. So Fu, Fu Fu 2 put so much thought and and this is why he came to mind the second I said people who put a lot of thought into their videos because he uh looks at specific abilities that people don't necessarily look at or think about too often and he, he does a full deep dive into them I think that is so so interesting and that's what shakes up a meta and that's what you can do being you know new or coming back into competitive pokemon right because it's a it's a it's the wild west out there right now people don't know what the the biggest team is going to be people don't know what the next 91.91 percent usage pokemon is going to be and you can actually help define that at this point of playing the game anyway i i just thought i'd you know rant about that for a little bit because there are a lot of people who are going to be coming into the game now and a lot of people who are going to be needing some information and personally this is the kind of video that i would have wanted to to see if i was getting back into pokemon or getting into pokemon so anyway i just want to thank you so much for listening and uh, i hope you stick around for the long haul because it is going to be a fun time over the next couple of weeks months years uh into the life cycle of of scarlet and violet I hope to see you there. I've been Mike. I play with one Pokemon on the field. We'll see you next time.